A volatile behavior and strength in flexure of a pre-stressed concrete member. In general, the loading stage can be divided into the service load, crack, and overload stages. At the stage of the service load, the beam behave in linear elastic conditions where the development of the displacement is proportional to the load applied. At this stage, the principles of superposition is valid, where the net response of the pre-stressed member caused by more than one type of load would be analyzed by summing up the response of each load that acts on the member individually. Also at this stage, the beam remains uncracked. That means the full cross sections of the members can be utilized. And the steel stress within the member are also at the elastic range. This is the stage that the pre-stressed concrete member behave at its best performance. Next, as the service load is exceeded, the tensile stress generated in the member due to the flexure has exceeded the tensile strength of the concrete. Because of that, the crack develops. Due to the existence of the steel in the member, the tensile stress caused by the flexural will be taken fully by the steel, and the member has not failed yet. This is referring to the stage of the cracking. Next, as the load increases further, overload conditions happen. At this stage, either the steel or concrete, or both, will be at their non-linear range. The beam will be in partially cracked stage. You will see there are a lot of cracks along the members, and only the concrete in the compression regions is considered effective. At this stage, the steel in tensions works with the concrete in compressions to form an internal force couple, as indicated in the diagram here, and this generate resistance to the flexural moment generated in the member. In short, at the service load, the beam behave in linear conditions uncracked and the principle or superposition is applicable. As long as the service load is not exceeded, the beam will perform well and with high durability. At the instant that the service load is exceeded, crack occurs, but the member hasn't failed yet. The steel in the member will start taking the tensile stress and as the load applied further, there will be non-linear response, more crack will develop and the tension concrete is considered ineffective. As for the design of the pre-stressed member, we need to ensure that the pre-stressed member is always at these regions or the worst case is reaching these regions. By all means, we should avoid the overload conditions. If we design the pre-stressed member at these regions, no tensile stress is allowed within the member. Sometimes, we do allow some degree of tensile stress, but we need to ensure that the crates are maintained in an acceptable level that does not cause any failures to the members.